forecast. Do we need to rethink exactly what we're doing as we try to approach inflation? David, here's how I think about it. Uh, the Fed's been trying to put the brakes on, and it doesn't look like the brakes are getting much traction. And when your brakes don't get much traction, two things happen. You can be moving too fast. That's the inflation pressure. And you can be setting yourself up for some kind of uh, collision or crash down the road. And both of those things, I think, are real risks uh, in uh, this environment. We clearly have an economy where demand is super strong, the highest ratio of vacancies to unemployment we've ever seen, retail sales on fire, the economy creating jobs faster right now than uh, population growth by a factor of uh, five in uh, the latest uh, month. The, if you look at the broadest measures of inflation, the median inflation component at its highest rate in uh, 40 years, running close to 7%, uh, percent, a general broadening of uh, price pressures. So that has got to cause real concern about inflation. It's got to at least raise a question about the paradigm market observers have had of how many 25 basis point increases before the long pause and move towards decrease. It raises the possibility that we're not landing at a terminal rate sometime in the next several months. The risk is that we're going to hit the brakes very, very hard. And then when we hit the brakes very, very hard, that's going to kick in at the same time that some of those negative cyclical dynamics about rising savings and excess inventory and so forth are kicking in. And right. that could produce uh, the, the dangerous uh, drop-off.